Hi, Hexagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today, we're going to discuss cloud to cloud alignment. First, inside of the software, we can see that I am connected to my Absolute Arm 7 access. And now I'm going to physically take off my arm. We're going to see the green scan line. And now we'll begin scanning in my part in. Okay, I'm going to scan just a little bit of the data here. Okay. Now we can see the smart feature for the cloud appears in the main graphical view. I'm going to rotate this, scan the side a little bit. And now I'm going to press and hold the three state button. And this is going to pull up the RDS agent window where I can cycle through by swiping left or right. And I'm going to change my scanning profile to the default. I see a confirmation in the screen, and now I'm going to scan the front side of the part. So while you are scanning, you can easily switch over to your different profiles from the instrument and without going back to your laptop or computer. I'm going to scan the side of it. You can see that data coming into the software. And then now I'm going to scan the top. Okay, do a little bit of the back side. Now I'm going to swipe right and then swipe right again. And then now I'm going to scan my clipping plane for that cloud. Now we can see the main graphical view will go ahead and update. I'm going to switch over to a different scanning profile. And I'm going to choose the hexagon large demo block profile that I created through RDS. Now I'm going to start scanning into a separate cloud after I have flipped my part over. I'm going to scan the front side. I'm going to hide my first cloud one. And then I'm going to start scanning the side of this part. And then other various features. One important thing to note is that when I'm scanning into the second cloud, I want to make sure that I have overlapping data in order to perform the cloud to cloud alignment later on in the software. All right, now I'm going to scan a little bit of the backside. You can see that on the screen. All right, I'm going to get the other side. I'm going to scan this data in. Perfect. Scan a little bit of the data located there. And just a little bit more here in the front. After I'm complete with the scan data, I can easily go back and add a clipping plane to the data by swiping left or by swiping right and navigating through my actions panel. This gives me the ability to add a clipping plane from the instrument without going back to my laptop. Now inside of the software, I'm going to show both my cloud one and my cloud two, and then navigate to alignment and select cloud to cloud alignment. I'm going to select cloud two as my fixed and my moving cloud as my first one. We're going to see both of the cloud one and two appear in the main graphical view. And now I'm going to just rotate both of them so they look similar. Left click on one surface and then left click on the other one in the same exact location. I'll click right here, right above, below the each. Same data located there. And then I'll get one back on the side. I'll press enter to accept. And now I have the ability to change the tolerance for the outlier rejection. I'm going to keep the defaults and select OK. And now the software will go through and align the two clouds and display a line cloud located in the tree. Now that I've successfully created my cloud to cat alignment, I can extract features 
or perform different tasks within the software with the cloud data. Thank you for watching, and we hope you are inspired.